Hey guys, welcome back to Knife Review. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Kershaw Emerson CQC 4K XL. And this is a knife that is going to be designed by Emerson, but built by Kershaw. And first off, we're just going to talk about the dimensions of this knife. The blade on this knife is going to be 3.875 inches long, and the overall length of this knife is going to be 9 inches. And the blade material on this knife is a 8CR14 MOV steel, which is definitely going to be a very budget steel. The knife has a spear point style blade, which is going to be good for everyday tasks. And the edge type on this knife is going to be a plain flat edge. The handle is going to be made out of a G10 material which is going to feel very good in the hand and all the metals and all the surfaces are going to be polished and just feel very very nice. There's not going to be any sharp bits on this knife. The pocket clip on this knife is going to be designed for tip up carry only. You're not going to be able to use this tip down but it is going to be reversible so that's great for left or right handers. On one side of the handle we can see this really nice G10 material but on the other handle here we can see there's not going to be any uh, G10 material or anything like that. It's just going to be the stainless steel liner. And then I'm sure as you guys can notice, it's going to be a frame lock knife. So the frame is actually going to get in the way right here, like a liner lock, but it's going to be a frame lock because it is going to be part of the frame. It's not going to be in the middle. I really like frame lock knives. They're always super easy to just move out of the way and then bring the blade down. And just overall, a very nice experience on this knife. As far as weight goes, this knife weighs 6.1 ounces. So it's not going to be the lightest knife out there, but it's not going to be too, too heavy either. The thumb disc is actually very easy you can just flick it out and it's just going to fire out just like that. But also to open up this knife, it has a really cool feature which Emerson calls the wave style opening system. And it's actually going to be really cool. So this knife is going to sit in the pocket and then the little wave thing right here is actually going to catch on the side of your pocket. So when you pull the knife out, it's going to fire out just like this. And that's really cool. It means that whenever you reach for it, you can just pull it out with two or three fingers. Make sure your fingers are out of the way of the knife and it's just going to fire out automatically. It's really cool and very, very interesting. This knife is going to be made in China and it's going to sit here in the bottom of the knife. It's just going to say China on there. And then here on the right side of the knife, it's going to say Kershaw. And then on the left side, we're going to see a Emerson logo. Overall, this really is a fantastic knife. I just wish the blade quality wasn't going to be made of 8CR MOV steel. I wish they had an upgraded steel, but I guess a upgraded steel on the Kershaw Emerson would probably take away from some true Emerson sales, and they wouldn't want that to happen. So it's a very good knife to get into the Emerson style type of knives. I absolutely love design, the practicality, and honestly, the build quality of this knife is very, very good. Again, my only complaint is the steel that it's made out of, and for the price of anywhere from $25 to $35, dollars you really can't go wrong with this knife. I picked up mine for $30 and I think you guys are definitely going to enjoy this knife for that price point. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up down below and of course make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and then you'll be notified every single time about a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. If you guys have any questions about this knife, make sure to them in the comment section down below and I'll try to answer them all. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.